Well, brethren, we're going to open up for your comments. But first, I want to exhort you to take what Brother Matt has opened up to us and to do something with it. While he was speaking, I was thinking about this, how we are separate from this world. See, it can, get, it can, go over, can become overwhelming at times if you don't think this way. We don't belong here. See, we belong in, we, uh, our joy is up ahead. See, you're going through trials and troubles right now, well, because you don't belong here. God is shaping you. He's preparing you for himself. You don't belong to yourself. You belong to him. The desire of God is he's making us to be united with him. He's preparing us. He, he, he is, he, this couldn't happen without God. Yeah. See, this is the glory of the Lord that's is doing this. It was impossible to do. He's making the impossible possible with you. Yeah. I should bring you joy right there, brother. See, you were no good. Without God. No good. There's no good in you. No good in man. But God's making it happen so that he can, that you can be well pleasing Amen. to him. Amen. So Jesus prayed for you. He prayed for us as a, as a people. Now if Jesus, who is Lord of Lords and King of Kings, if he's praying for you, brother, well, who can be against you? You, you can think about that when you're having hard times. I know you're going to have hard times. We all have hard times. The world can't help you. They don't have anything for you. They, they might have like a, a, a somebody that's like a, a pep you up and get you through the next five minutes. But that's about as far as it goes. They, just, they, might, they might stir you up and get you excited. A, a motivational speaker they have them nowadays. They, they pay them a lot of money to come into schools and stuff and motivate them. It doesn't go very far. Why? Because we're not, this world is passing away. See, there's no motivational speaker that's going to help us get through this. Nothing can help us get through this but our God. So, we can look to him in hard times, in good times, all the time. We look to Jesus. We are made not to just be separate from this world but to be with, united with him Amen. together. Yeah. Amen. We, we are attracted to God because he, we are made to be with him. He's bringing us to him. He's, he's, he's the one that's drawing us closer to him, see? To think, if you think of it, it's just you. See, that's how, when you get legalistic, you know, when we talk about those things, what becomes overwhelming is it puts all the focus on you. That you are, you're the main thing. See, and it, be, it doesn't take long. It's you just run out of your own energy. But we're not the main thing. Brother, Brother Matt brought that up. Hey, we're not the main thing. See, well, you want to be blessed? Well, you think less of yourself. See, the, see the world, see how, how opposite that is? The world says, you, you can't love anybody until you love yourself. You, you've got to build yourself up. You, 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 you. And then what do we have? A bunch of people that are just a mess. Yeah, See, in, the, in, in Christ, it's not about you. Yeah. It's about the, his body. So you think less of yourself, and you're strengthened. Mm -hmm. And you're united with God's people. So let us strive to pray for one another, to to better the brethren, all of God's people, just as Jesus prayed. And God will make us united. He'll bring us together and strengthen us. We're not on our own. We are joined together with a number that cannot be numbered, Brother Matt brought that up. That's a big number, brethren. Yeah. Yeah. When you think about being a part of something, that's a part of something. Yeah. See, people, they, they, they long to be a part of something. God has made us a part of something. Yeah. Part of something that cannot be numbered. You can't even fathom it. That's the same. You just, I just say that. Cannot be numbered. And you're like, yeah. 
How do you, how do you even think about that? Well, we, we're not going to really see it until we're there to be a part of this. We are joined together. The love we have is from God. It's not something we're making up here. We're not just, just trying to, yeah, we love it. What does that mean? It's, it's something that the Lord has done. It's what he is doing. It's what he is instituting. It's not something we're making up. So we let God work. Let God work. Don't think, don't think too highly of yourself. Don't, don't be overcome with, with fear and anxiety. Let God do this work. Be a part of what God is doing. As we push the world out of our lives and we draw closer to God, our love will increase. And we don't have to make it up. It just happens. God will work. His, he will, he, he make, it's his love, not ours. He, we're not making this up. It's his love. He's doing it. It's his work. We will be perfected, and we will be a reflection of his glory. His glory, not our own. So then, let us look above. Amen. Not look about what's going on around us. You'll just get too overwhelmed. Look above where we're going. Let your joy be up ahead. Yeah. It's not possible to continue in sin as we walk in the newness of life. Like... <laughs> When you're looking to God, when you're, when you're wholly just consumed with him and what he's doing, the last thing you want to think about is having anything to do with the world. The last thing you want to think about is letting the, your flesh come down off the cross. You won't need people to say, stop doing that. You won't be doing it. You're, 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 con you're consumed with your God. So we are not our own. We, are, we belong to God. This, this will clear up a lot of things when people have silly questions. Well, does the Bible say I can't do this? Well, when you're looking to the Lord and you're not thinking you belong to yourself, I, that just shuts down a bunch of questions, a bunch of silly questions. You don't belong to yourself. Why do you think you can do that? You want to do that? Well, think of it this way. You don't belong to yourself. Uh -huh, yeah. You belong to God. Do you think God would want you to do that? Well, a lot, a lot, a lot of silly questions would be put away when you, when you think of it this, that way. I don't belong to myself. Yeah. So just as Jesus looked ahead to the joy that was up ahead, let us also, when we go through trials, be faithfully looking up ahead. And we'll be able to go through, a, we'll be able to be successful in the things that the Lord has in front of us. Because we're not focused on those things. We're focused on our joy up ahead. So we will be able to be overcomers and be successful. Why? Because this is what the Lord is doing. Now, brother, I want to open this up to you, to your comments.